Star Wars Squadrons comes out tomorrow, and it's safe to say that it's an immensely expanded version of the previous Starfighter game, Battlefront 2 Starfighter Assault. In this video, I will be exploring what it would look like if Ewok Hunt got the Star Wars Squadrons treatment and became a full-on $40 game. The first and most important part of this game would be the map. Ewok Hunt already uses one of the largest maps in Battlefront 2, but this map would likely be much bigger. An expanded version of Ewok Hunt could have all multiple maps depending on whether or not there are more than just Ewoks hunting. Modes like Gungan Hunt, Raycor Hunt, Wampa Hunt, maybe even Trandosian Hunt could be possible. In any of these modes, you play as an Imperial soldier who has to escape a planet as they are attacked by animals. More wild-oriented maps like Felucia, Naboo, Seleucami, and more could be implemented. Depending on which of these modes you're playing, you can likely have different trooper classes. As far as troopers are concerned, three main classes could be implemented in this game. Scout Trooper, Assault Storm Trooper, and Flame Trooper. The Flame Trooper could carry over the design from the Mandalorian, and the others could carry over from Battlefront 2. As far as the other creature classes go, Ewoks, Gungans, and Trandosians could each have their own unique classes. Ewoks would have a similar class to the one in Battlefront 2, maybe with arrows, and maybe a shaman-like Ewok with magical abilities. Gungans and Trandosians could be similar. Some Trandosians could have sniper rifles while others might have shock traps. The possibilities are endless for a Star Wars hunting game like this. Gameplay on both sides would be in first person mode to increase immersion. VR is likely not necessary. Animals like Ewoks, Gungans, and Trandosians would be able to see in the dark, but the Stormtroopers would carry over the same flashlight mechanics. If they implemented a rain core in the game, which would be incredibly fun, it could probably see through the nighttime forests of Felucia using thermal vision. A story mode in this game would take place on an open world plane where you would have to traverse the forests of Endor with a couple of computer player Imperials. It would be frightening, high stakes, and you would encounter more than just Ewoks. There would be ATSTs, falling trees, and falling Death Star debris to avoid. So this is what Ewok Hunt would look like as a full-fledged game. This is just one of the Battlefront 2 modes I will be expanding. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. I can't wait for the release of Squadrons, and I will likely be playing it on my channel. Goodbye.